It's well known that when buying a car, you can get better deals in certain months and even on specific days throughout the year. But did you know that the same is statistically true about real estate? According to a recent study from Adam, the month of October, as well as the winter months, offer home buyers the best deals. To find this out, Adam Data Solutions analyzed more than 39 million single family home and condo sales between 2013 and 2021. Then they compared the amount buyers spent on a home compared compared to the median value of a home, as determined by an automated valuation model. The results of the study showed that fall is one of the best seasons to buy a home, as buyers can typically negotiate a more desirable price before sellers take their home off the market prior to winter. There can also be fewer buyers as autumn progresses, although inventory is usually lower compared to the spring and summer months. October proved to be the best month in the fall to buy a home, as prices tend to be less competitive overall but inventory still remains at a good level coming out of the summer. If you are looking to buy where severe winter weather is a concern though, buying during October still gives you time to settle in before the brunt of winter arrives. As you can see in this chart, the colder months are a great time to house hunt. Home buyers statistically have paid lower premiums on homes that close in October, November, December, and January. There's far less competition and many listings may have been on the market for a while, meaning that sellers are more motivated to make a deal. The housing market tends to be a lot more active in the spring and summer than in the winter. Many people want to get settled in a new home before the school year begins in the fall. Even if they don't, they usually need to take advantage of the increased level of listings from sellers that do. As we move down this chart, you can see that the premiums really start to increase. July, June, April, and May have proven to be the most expensive months of the year to close close on a new home, with home buyers on average paying 10.5% over the median value of a home to secure it in the month of May. This makes sense considering that schools around a large part of the country break for summer starting in May. Now I got a kick out of this. When reacting to the findings of the study, Rick Sharga, executive vice president of market intelligence at Adams said, apparently the old adage spring forward and fall back applies not only to setting your clocks, but to home prices as well. And as you can see, it may be a laughable analogy, but the data 100% shows this to be true. If you wanna take this a step further, Adam released the best days to buy a house as well. The study revealed that despite October's overall discounts, the best single days of the year to buy still fall after Thanksgiving through the early days of the new year. November 28th came out on top with home buyers on average paying only a 1.1% premium. January 9th came in second with a 1.3% premium. December 5th and December 26th, the day after Christmas, were next with a 1.5% premium followed by December 19th at 1.9%. Now that you have a better understanding of the seasonal patterns for house hunting, here's a refresher on the best steps to take to get ready for the opportunities coming up in the next few months. Take this time to assess how much debt you have, if any, and pay off anything that you can. Then check up on your credit profile and make sure there are not any errors. Remember, the higher your credit score is, the better borrowing terms you are going to get on your home loan. You'll also wanna figure out how much money you have for a down payment. Unless you qualify for an assistance program or have negotiated credits with the seller of the home you are going to buy, keep in mind that the down payment payment and closing costs when buying a home are your responsibility as a buyer. The more money that you have saved up for those items ahead of time, the better. If you are ready to take advantage of the upcoming opportunities in the market, consider meeting with a mortgage professional and finding a real estate agent. Knowing the loans that you qualify for and having a great agent by your side is only going to make your purchase smoother. Now is the time to get started if you plan on buying a home this fall or winter. And my assistance doesn't stop here with this video. I will help you get matched with the best agent to assist you with your purchase and set you up with additional resources 100% free of charge. In the description of this video, you will find a link where you can tell me a little bit about where you're looking to buy and your timeline, and I'll make sure you have a winning team by your side. And if you're not quite ready to jump into the home buying process, that's completely understandable. I'd recommend checking out this video to learn more about the steps of buying a home from start to finish, along with what you need in order to determine if buying now makes the most financial sense for you. I'm Nicole Nark with videos to help you find your way home and I'll see you in the next one.